because I'm so far away from home, you know, here in Columbus, uh, I definitely try to, to keep a little Cali feel here in my apartment. Um, this painting here is is uh, actually Stephen Lenhart's. His one of his friends from California painted for him last year. We lived together, and when he got traded this year, and I kind of just was like, "Hey, I'll take care of it for you. Don't worry. Um, you know, it will work perfectly in my apartment." So. Uh, it just kind of reminds me of home, you know, I'm from Huntington Beach, it's, uh, it reminds me of, of back home. My apartment is pretty chill, you know, it's, it's got, you got some space, Columbus is very cheap, so you can get a big spot for, for a little money. Um, you know, here's my kitchen, it's where I spend most of my time, um, you know, I have people over a lot, I like to barbecue, um, Gisha taught me how to do the Argentine barbecue, little chorizo, uh, little uh, carne asada, so I'll take you back to my my barbecue, my patio. <laughs> yeah, so this is my patio. <laughs> and I've actually, even though this patio sucks, I've actually had like five or six uh, very successful barbecues. You know, people usually chill in, in my living room uh, TV area and I just chill out here and, and cook and uh, just hang out, you know, so um, it's pretty easy. Life in Columbus is easy. Um, getting around in Columbus, I use my skateboard. You know, I, I don't really need a car. I use my car to get to Obetz and to the stadium. Um, one thing I learned about, you know, when I came to Ohio was that no one knows how to skateboard. <laughs> I thought growing up that everyone knew how to skateboard. Like, my sister knows how to skateboard. But uh, I've been trying to teach guys on my team, and, and some guys have, have really picked it up. Andy Arrow, you know, he, he's almost a pro. So, uh, you know, I got my skateboard with my crypto wheels. It's more of a cruiser. You know, I'm not like a trick skateboarder. It's, it's just for transportation. I think that no matter where you are, if you're around good people, I think you can make any place your home. You know, I think the people here in Columbus or in the Midwest are just are just different. You know, they want to get to know you, and not just what you do, but like who you are. I've met a lot of cool people here that you know we talk about, you know, what they do and traveling and soccer, but in different ways. So. I think people here in Columbus are, are pretty awesome. Your happiness is all about, you know, the people that you're around and, and uh, who you spend your time with and and uh, being creative, you know, making sure that you're not just sitting on your couch playing video games, but, you know, you're out swimming, cliff jumping, skateboarding, hosting dance parties, and just doing everything you can to have your time. <laughs> you know, obviously there's been a lot of changes and a lot of my friends have left, you know. It was a joke with the crew is, like, if you want to get traded, you uh, become roommates with Robbie Rogers, <laughs> you know, so uh, I think guys try to stay away from me. <laughs> but, you know, there's been a lot of changes and we've, we've picked up a lot of good players, a lot of young players, you know, some some older experienced players that have really done a good job, have really done well to, to blend in and uh, to figure out the MLS quickly and, and found, they've found ways to, found ways to, to make an impact, to, to help the team out. And he puts Robbie Rogers into the box, Rogers early cross, right front goal! I try to be more vocal this year, you know, try to direct things through the midfield. Uh, speed the game up when it needs to be sped up, uh, slow it down when it needs to be slowed down and be dangerous and, uh, you know, try to help out guys that are new to the league or, you know, any way I can, whether it be off the field or on the field. Um, you know, I, I learned so much from Guiche and from other players here in the past, Frankie, and just other guys that, you know, really have helped me become the soccer player that I am. and that I'll still communicate with to, to keep improving. We like being underestimated. I think, you know, we're happy with being the number one place underdog. Um, I couldn't be more happy with the way that the team is, has, uh, you know, come to this point of the season and, and has, um, you know, found a way to, to be so successful.